It was back in 1992, and we spent a day with the Toronto paramedics learning how we drivers can make their jobs easier. Well, it was during this time that we heard one of the best lines from the late Anton Tycote. It takes years to get good. I mean, after you've, you've done thousands and thousands of these calls, and you pull up and you recognize the seat, you recognize, for example, the old guy with a hat. We all say, we've all seen it. But when you've seen it a thousand times, you know you're pulling up behind an old guy with a hat. He's gonna do something goofy. That's right, he said, watch out for the guy with the hat. Well, fast forward 23 years, and look who's wearing the hat. How did it come to this? Anyway, we thought we'd revisit with the paramedics at Station 40 in downtown Toronto and find out if the job of driving an emergency vehicle has changed over the years and also discover how you and I can keep them and us safe. Hey, seven, six. I've done the job now for 32 years. Um, it's an exciting job. It's not routine. Every day is something different. The driving part of it, I really enjoy. You know, 32 years of driving emergency vehicles, and it's still like, always exciting the first time you go out. So I've been doing this job for 14 years, uh, which every time I say that seems <laughs> like, oh my goodness, I've been doing this for a very long time. But I think that just speaks to the fact that I, I love it so much. Every day is a different a different day, I meet so many different people, and I'm able to help so many different people in all these different situations. All right, point us. You right. first. This is what Hats. you uh, We've been together for, I think, we, we don't, we're not even sure. This is what, 12, 13 years now. Over the years, we've, we've gained a, an, an incredible trust where we don't even have to talk on calls anymore. We know what's expected of, of each other. Um, in terms of driving, he's looking out for me, I'm looking out for him. It's really, really important to trust your partner uh, when, when they're driving because they're, they're literally holding your life in their hands sometimes. And trusting them, knowing that they're going to make the right choices is really, really important. Uh, trusting your partner when you're driving is also really important. Uh, we have huge blind spots on the side of our vehicle, and when we're making turns, your partner is frequently looking out their window and saying whether you're clear or not, telling you what traffic's doing, and you, you have to trust them. Volume of cars now in the city here, it's, it's crazy. You can't easily get anywhere quickly anymore. When you hear a siren, obviously you stop and look where it's coming from. Downtown, it's difficult because the sound bounces off the buildings. So if you hear the sirens, vehicle is approaching, just the best thing you can do if it's safe, pull to the right if there's space. If not, just stay where you are. Number one, if people could just remember to stop, take a deep breath, and try to remember to pull to the right. That would be, that would make my job so much easier. <laughs> so much easier. A lot of times people panic and then they just stop where they are, which is fine because I have to be able to see so far in advance. If everybody just remembered to pull to the right, then we would, I would have a clear lane. Well, we do training up at headquarters with the skid pad, and uh, the initial training was in college. We uh, used an ambulance, and we were taught um, how to drive the ambulance, how to do defensive driving, and taught all the regulations with the Highway Traffic Act. And it's really important to do that because, you know, you got to get a sense of what you're getting into, especially when you're new. You're going to be going. You're looking out for a lot of different things, the safety of yourself, safety of your partner, the safety of the patient in the vehicle. You know, your partner may be standing up doing a procedure at the time. Um, you know, you're supposed to be sitting down, but every now and then you have to stand up and do something, you know, if, if the patients uh, require it. And then the safety of everybody around, all the pedestrians, the uh, people walking their dogs, the bicycles, the cars, the trucks, everything. The big issue we're having now is uh, the pedestrians. With the sound deadening headphones and texting, just walking out in front of us. Even during the merch call, lights and siren, I've almost come close to striking a few people. And you do always have to pay attention because you don't know what the other guy is going to do. And driving on a normal day when not in an emergency vehicle is a challenge, but as soon as the lights and siren go on and you're in heavy traffic, yeah, it can get a little bit scary. The most important thing is watch your mirrors. Because of the vehicles now are so soundproofed and entertainment systems in them, music is loud, people aren't paying attention, distractive driving, on the phone, texting. If you're, at least you're looking in the mirror, you'll see us coming behind you. 
and you can load a pull to the right, hopefully. Hey, buddy. Yeah. We're getting a Delta. Yes. I love this job. People, you know, go to work. Well, you know, this is part of a lifetime thing. You know, I really enjoy being a paramedic. Part of that is my partnership with Dave. I look forward to coming in. You know, I look forward to the challenges that we we uh, we have. Are you a better driver today? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> um, I am in certain situations. I'm much more aware, and I'm I have a very fast react a reaction time. Uh, but at the same time, I get really frustrated. I'm used to being able to command the traffic. I really wish I had the lights on. I could just press the lights and be able to, to go for it. So in those ways, I get a little bit more frustrated than I should. But, uh, but I, I do think, in general, I am a safer person. Take the time to just understand that there's an emergency going on, and wherever you're going is probably not as important as where I'm going. And you need to just take a moment to remember that and, and yield appropriately. You know, these paramedics we hung out with today at Station 40 in Toronto were 12 hour shifts. Well, after what we witnessed, the time must just fly by. Take it from me, they hardly have time to finish a sandwich. It just never stops. We want to thank the Toronto Paramedic Services for allowing Motoring TV to go behind the scenes and witness the men and women whose medical expertise and driving ability can mean the difference between life and death every day in this country.